this week's episode of My Hero Academia. Izuku Midoriya becomes the apprentice of the greatest hero in the world, All Might, and he undergoes some intense training so that he can inherit his power one for all. This week's episode of My Hero Academia felt like a 1980s movie, and that's because it had this amazingly epic training montage in the middle of the episode. You see, All Might is going to take Izuku Midoriya under his wing, because he's actually going to allow him to inherit his power. Apparently, he has this special gift which is known as One for All. It's the ability that allows him to pump up and turn himself into a big badass superhero, and he can actually give this power to someone else. However, before before he can do that, he has to train Izuku. He has to make him a proper vessel, so to speak. In other words, he's going to have to go through some intense training, and it looks like he's going to be taking his training lessons from the school of Mr. Miyagi, which is basically just doing a lot of ridiculous chores. In fact, he's going to have to clean up this beach, which has been covered in garbage and all types of crap, and there is a lot of stuff here, and he has 10 months to get it done in order to become a proper vessel so that he can be prepared for the exams at UA. The montage sequence was really great because it really does show how dedicated Izuku Midoriya is actually to becoming a hero. Not only that, but damn it, I love scenes like this in anime because as soon as I was done watching the episode, I brought the episode back on, I completely muted it, and I tried to find as many great 80s training montage songs as I could, and the one that I think felt the best was Hearts on Fire from Rocky IV. So, after watching this episode, go do what I did. Mute the episode and play Hearts on Fire over the training montage. It fits perfectly, and it's freaking awesome. Push It to the Limit from Scarface is also a good choice. Also try out Queen's We Will Rock You. Most of this week's episode consists of training sequences, but honestly, I really liked it. Not just because those sequences were fun to watch and we actually got to see Izuku growing as a hero, but we got some great bonding moments between Izuku and All Might. All Might is a great character too, especially how he can constantly go between his different forms. At the beginning of the episode, when they begin their training, there's this great scene where he's actually riding on top of this giant refrigerator that Izuku is trying to drag with ropes, and then he jumps off the fridge and just oh so casually casually crushes it with just one hand, and it just shows the horizon behind him at the beach, and that scene right there just really solidified why All Might is such a fantastic character. And the scene when he noticed Izuku actually ended up cleaning up the entire beach. Oh my. Oh my. Goodness! The way that he can transform between his various forms is done in a lot of great ways and has some fantastic comedic timing. So, of course, after 10 months of training, Izuku does manage to clean up the entire beach, completely flooring All Might and all of his expectations, and that's when he's finally going to inherit his power. And the way it's done is through DNA. And basically, All Might just rips a piece of his hair off, gives it to Izuku, and says, Alright, you need to eat this. It's a gross but really funny scene and an amazing cap off to this huge training sequence where you expect something really to epic to happen and then they just lay this joke in your lap. It's really fantastic. And then at the very end of the episode, we finally get Izuku getting ready to go and take these exams. He has a small run-in with Katsuki Bakugo and he also meets another one of the main characters from the series, this incredibly cute girl who apparently has psychic or gravity-like abilities because as he's casually walking up to the building super confident, he ends up falling over and she ends up catching him. I know she's going to be a main character. She appears in the intro of the show. There's also this big jack dude who's wearing glasses who is just a complete and total asshat. He ends up calling out this guy who's running this exam who goes by the name of Present Mike who is really, really funny by the way because this first part of the exam they're actually going to go and they're going to have to stop these faux villains which take the form of these giant robots and they're going to have to use their quirks in order to take these things down. And the way he explains this is all really funny. It's all all done with like this 8-bit styled video game and hell it practically is a video game they even comment on that but when they show this other character who gets up and he starts calling him out because he's like hey there's a robot you didn't talk about man what's the deal with that that's gonna hurt the reputation you can just tell that this guy's gonna be a real stuck-up dick but he's definitely gonna be a main character because he does appear in the intro of the show so I can't wait to see more from this character in the future and what all these crazy powers are going to be like Izuku is just glad to finally be there but I cannot wait to see how Everything is going to go down in this big entrance arc. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So, what's the rundown?
down on this week's episode of My Hero Academia. Training montages are always really fun with 80s music. That's really my biggest thought about this week's episode. But no, I really liked this one. This was a fantastic episode. I especially loved all of the advice that All Might was actually giving to Izuku. Trying to build up his confidence a little bit more by giving him those words of wisdom where someone who gains something through luck and someone who gains it through recognition, those things are different in essence. That's exactly what he told him. Izuku earned everything that he is getting. This is just not luck that he's been given these powers. He really had to work his ass off to get them, and he did by making that beach look absolutely immaculate. The most exciting aspects of this episode, aside from all the training sequences, though, are seeing all those new characters at the end who are surely going to be just as enduring as Izuku and All Might. I can't wait to learn about those guys, because the intro of the show is just fantastic, because they show so many cool costumed characters. So, I can't wait to see these guys in action and what their individual powers are going to be, and all the characters this week looked really cool. I loved Present Mike at the very end. He was a really funny character, because he's basically just like a radio host, like really over the top, really a lot of showmanship, and he's trying to get the attention of all the people taking the exam, but they completely dismiss him, but that doesn't like, like, steal his thunder whatsoever, like, he still manages to stay at 10, like, constantly. I can't wait to see what his powers are going to be. Apparently, he's the voice hero, according to Izuku, so his powers are probably going to involve his voice, maybe screaming like frickin' Zebra from Toriko. I'm not really sure. All I know is, I can't wait to see how this exam is going to go down. This was a really nice hype episode of the series. This is the type of anime that seems like it could go on for a really long time, and to my knowledge, this first season is supposed to be very short, so so I'm not sure how much of this exam is actually going to take up this series, if it really is going to be all about this big entrance exam, introducing all of these brand new characters. I'd like to think that we'll maybe get some villains in there, but uh, still, we're just going to have to wait and see. I don't read the manga version, so I don't really know anything about this show. It's just being presented to me in anime form, and for what it's worth, it's a really entertaining superhero anime series with some really good production value behind it. Just fantastic character designs which are all really unique and I think that's one of the coolest things about it and how it sort of honors the entire superhero mythos both western and eastern if you like superheroes and you like anime check out this show you're definitely going to see something you like what I will say is I liked this week's episode despite the fact that it was very simple I loved the growth from Izuku I love all the moments with All Night they're all really really fun so I'm going to give this week's episode right here a 4 out of 5 I would have liked a little bit more to happen but this is still another solid episode of My Hero Academia. You heard my thoughts about this week's episode, but I want to hear from you guys. What did you think about this week's episode of My Hero Academia? What did you think of that big training sequence with Izuku and All Might? Do you have a favorite training sequence song you would insert during that scene? Why don't you tell me in the comments section below, and what do you want to see from the big UA exam and the rest of My Hero Academia? Thank you guys for watching this review. You guys are awesome. Make sure to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby.